Hey everyone, so as you can see, I'm in a different setting. I moved in to my dorm at college, and so I am going to go ahead and try to film a few videos. So if you see the same outfit um, in different videos, that's why, because it is 10 o'clock or so. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to do a few different videos tonight, um, just because today was move-in and it just it's really quiet around here right now so um, today we're going to be talking about the different tail types that there are for betas now there are a whole lot of different tail types um, when it comes to beta fish and honestly there's probably too many to name but I'm going to talk be talking about quite a few of them today um, I actually found a list of a lot of these on um, Google. So I'll go ahead and put the link to the website where I found these at um, down in the description so that if you want to go read more about them, you can. And Okay, first off we have the Veil Tail Beta and this is the most common beta fish that you find in pet stores. Um, this is the type of fish that most people that think um, about betta fish, this is what they think of and the reason they're called bale tails is just because they have a long curving fin that flows like the veil that someone would wear for a wedding. Um, and I have a veil tail, his name is Oliver, so I'll go ahead and insert a picture here so you, you can see what I'm talking about with the tail shape if you um, have never seen one before. Next we have the crown tail beta, and these betas are also very common. You can find them at pet at most pet stores. Um, you won't see them as often as you will bale tails, but you do still see them often. And basically, as you can, or I'll enter a picture here because I have two crown tails. I have my female Cinderella and my male Finn. Um, and. As you can see from the picture, they have very spiky tails, um, so they definitely look really different. Um, I actually really like the way that the males look, and I really like the way the females look too, but the males are just like longer, um, longer spikes off of it, and I really like the way that it looks. That's a personal preference because a lot of people don't actually like the way that that looks, but Next you have the Half Moon Beta, and their caudal fin um, spreads at 180 degree angle, so it is exactly like a D, um, and it'll look exactly like that. Um, then you have the Delta Tail, and a Delta Tail is any single-tailed non-Half Moon Beta that um, has straight caudal edges, like on their tail. Um, like a half moon, but it won't doesn't reach 180 degrees. Then you have the super delta, which is basically a delta tail, except that um, the branching is better, as well as that the caudal fin extends between 120 and 160 degrees. Then you have the double tail beta. Um, this type of beta is often um, crossed into other strains um, because they have like they have separate tails. I have a half moon, double tail half moon, um, which I'll insert here. As you can see with the double tail half moon, you can't really see the splitting of the two fins very well, but you could definitely tell when I first got him when uh, before his fins had grown like that. You have the spade tail, and the spade tail beta is, beta, sorry, is not common, and you don't really see them. Um, so I'm going to have to read what the website says. It says that their caudal fin has a wide base that narrows to a small point just like a spade. Um, a lot of people think that they have spade tail betas, but um, veil tail betas also look like that before their tails get heavy enough to weigh down. So, I mean, they're not very common, so I would say that if that is the case, you're probably having a veil tail beta whose tail just hasn't grown out yet. You have the rose tail beta and I don't know much about rose tails except that I really like the way the tail is um, and it basically this website just says that 
The rose tail beta was developed by trying to breed the perfect half moon. Its fins, especially the caudal, have excessive branching and overlapping, which gives the appearance of a rose. And I do really think that their tails look cute. There's also the feather tail, which is similar to a rose tail, but it doesn't look, it looks more ruffly than folded. The placket beta, which is just a short fin version of a common beta. Those obviously are not all of the different tail types that you can get, but they are the ones that were listed on the website that I found. They are um, the most common and you can generally find them in most pet stores except for the spade tail. And yeah, so I hope you guys learned a little bit from this video. Um, I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you enjoyed this, please thumbs up. Um, comment on my video, let me know what you liked, um, and let me know what your favorite kind of beta tail type for a beta is. And uh, <clears throat> if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!